For the next several weeks, I am going to be resharing some of my favorite conversations that I've had with women inside the Be Free Inner Circle. I wanted to give them space to really share what it means to them to be in a community specifically for Black women to do their inner work on their personal growth journey. And let me tell you, these conversations are so rich. You're going to want to listen to every single one, and I'm sure you're going to be jotting down tons of notes. Also, be sure to hop on the wait list at BeFreeInnerCircle.com so when the doors open, you'll be the first to know. Now enjoy the episode. All right, so I am over the moon excited, Patrice, to have you on the Be Free Project podcast. Um, We met a couple of years ago. Um, I think we were at, um, it was an event held oh by uh, Jumpstart. And as I was thinking about having these interviews with members inside the Be Free Inner Circle, I was like, you know, I want to talk to members who have been in the community for a period of time. And I really want you to share your experience um, because I talk about the Be Free Inner Circle all the time. But I think it's going to be such a valuable way for uh, the audience to hear from a member's perspective what it's like being in the community. And so preparing for this call, I was like, oh, well, let me see how long Patrice has been in the community. And you joined July 25th of 2019. And when I saw that, I'm like, man, I cannot believe that two years have went by so fast. And I have been watching you blossom and grow and flourish and seeing even how you overcome challenges and how you've been using the community to really wrap their arms around you as you um, become the woman that you desire to be, but then also grow your business as well. So number one, thank you so much for agreeing to be on the podcast today. And I'm excited for the audience to hear your story. So as I mentioned, you've been in the community for over two years now, and I would love, love, love to hear you share some of the wins that you've experienced since being a member of the Be Free Inner Circle. Um, So when I joined the Be Free Inner Circle, I was at a point in my life where I was just ready to like, just start, just get my business started, get, getting the best version of my life started. So since I've been here, um, I've done photo shoots. I've got my website launched. I, um, have my damn good BLT in Unbar here in Cleveland. So they carry it. They've been carrying it for over a year now. My business has been doing really good. I have been doing meal prep. I did a few consultations and now I'm pivoting. I'm like revamping the website that I did last year that was finished last year in October, I think. And just so many more opportunities have come my way. Like I recorded a cooking show. I have so much more confidence in myself as a person, as a business owner, even as a mom, because everyone has helped me. Like the lives have been like the best because I can talk to you all and you all can give me your feedback and it makes me feel a whole lot better knowing that I'm not doing it alone. Yeah, that's really good. And I also remember, I don't know if it was last year or the year before last, and I don't know if this was your first celebrity client, um, but I know when you shared it, I think on social media and then you shared it inside the community, I'm like, oh wait, this is huge. So even if you want to share that experience, because I feel like the when I saw, I just got turned on to your company when we met in real life, right? And then obviously I've been watching how everything is unfolding and it's been a beauty and uh, honor, I should say, to watch. So even having celebrity clients, like how does that feel? So it was great. I did a private dinner with my friend Remy for Lamar Odom and his girl girlfriend at the time and their two friends it was at their house and that was like a highlight of my year it was last year yeah it was last year I think in the fall and it was just like this this stuff is really happening (laughs) like it was a big deal like it made me feel like anything is possible Mm -hmm even though I feel like celebrities are people too, but they have a lot of following and for them to say that they love my food was like everything. So 
I'm excited. I love that. And so from a professional perspective, like there's been a lot of growth, a lot of wins. What would you say have been some of your personal wins? And I know you mentioned like building your confidence, um, but what are some other wins personally that you've experienced being inside the Be Free Inner Circle? Being comfortable with myself, with myself physically and emotionally, being able to have a routine to help me in my day-to-day. So like meditation, journaling, my incense, my sage, my candles. It has helped me be more calm to go inside instead of looking outside for that we need is inside. We just have to work it out. And now I'm in the transition phase and I just got an apartment. <laughs> like just now I got approved for an apartment because I've been with my dad since March because we had to move out of our house because the people wanted to sell the house. So that is like, to me, the biggest obstacle or thing for me to be able to get because I've been married. I haven't been on my own since I want to say 20, 2008, maybe. I haven't been on my own. So now I have the confidence to be okay with being on my own again with my children. So those are the, the biggest things. Definitely happy. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and so how did you know that you needed support with doing the work? I feel stuck. Like I really did feel stuck. Like, and I'm like, something has something got to give something has to change because I feel like I'm not moving how I should. And I, it was a lot of things that I didn't know. Cause I'm, you know, just starting out and I'm just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know who to ask about this stuff. Mm-hmm. So I have been looking at your Instagram and stuff for a while. And I'm like, you know what? One day I was like, I'm just going to do it. And I just did it. And it's been great. Like over two years, who would have known mm-hmm. that this would have been like one of the best things to happen to me. Mm-hmm. One of the best things that I chose for myself to have that part. That yeah. part. I love that. <laughs> and so let's go back to you saying you felt stuck. For you, what did that feel like? Like, what did stuff feel like for you? And then knowing that, okay, I got to choose something different and I'm going to choose the Be Free Inner Circle to support me around that. So I didn't have a support system. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't have people around me. Like, around that time, I was just starting to get to know some people locally, but I still just felt like I needed people Mm. to help me grow. And I just, I guess it's hard to explain stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I wanted to move more forward in my business and in my personal life. And I just did not know Mm. what to do or where to go. So when I seen you, and being very positive and uplifting, I just felt like this is what I needed to do. I'm like, well, let me just try it and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're two years in. You're like, all right, this is home for me. <laughs> yes. And so that's great to know. Okay, so you were following me on Instagram. Um, I appeared very positive and uplifting. And I, the, my next question, like thinking through like all the things that you could have chosen, like what made you say, oh, I need to be a part or a member of the Be Free Inner Circle? I I don't know. I'm trying to think if I saw somebody post or saw like a a testimonial. That's what it is. I feel like I saw a testimonial or I saw somebody post something and I'm like, that just seems like it's some women in there. And I need to be around more women that are trying to do the same things that I'm doing. So that's what got me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I love that because hearing you guys like sharing your testimonies with me, it warms all my heart because I'm here just doing my work, showing up like, all right, this is the thing. And then when I get the positive feedback, whether y'all share that inside the Be Free Inner Circle or you share it when you see me in real life or you're posting something on social about the community that you're a part of, I'm like, this is amazing. And it And now as I'm growing and building, I'm like, this is so necessary, but it's specifically necessary for women of color. 
And that is the foundation of the community. And I realize as I'm building and growing and evolving and things are shifting, I'm like, we need this kind of space for us because there's certain things that we need to process. There's certain things that we are working on that no one else can understand. And so I love that that is what the community is, um, what it has, what it is, right? And so I can see that women are more, open to be transparent and vulnerable because they can see another woman that looks like them and she has a similar experience and she can understand what she's going through. So I love that you chose to be free inner circle, hearing someone else's testimony like, oh, I think I'm going to try that, right? Um, So my next question for you is, what's your favorite feature of the Be Free Inner Circle? Whether And that could be like the weekly live chats, the daily quotes, the community support um, our breakout groups, guest speakers. Like, What are some of your favorite features about the Be Free Inner Circle? So my number one favorite one is the live events because I get to see you all and talk and like catch up and see what everybody is working on. I also like... I joined the single ladies group. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was a little like a little scary at first, but I like it a lot um, because we can talk about the ups and downs of dating. Mm-hmm. Um, and the post that everyone puts, like Latanya just put her website. Mm-hmm. Like, I love that because we can like cheer each other on because I remember when I put my website up when I got done with mine and to be able to like cheer everybody else on when they have their milestones and we can all celebrate together. I love that. I love that too. And I tell you, you never miss an event. And what I love is that normally like nine times out of 10, you are in the car. <laughs> you are in the car commuting from one place to another, but you have, you know, it's set up in your car so that way you can tune in. And I love that because the beauty of the community is that you have access to, access to it no matter where you're at. And it doesn't matter if you have, you know, if you're in the car, if you're eating your dinner, preparing food for the kids, it does. Oh, and that's sometimes what you're doing, but it doesn't matter. Like you're tuned in because you know that what you're going to get from the live chats, number one is being connected with the community, but getting your cup filled in that moment. And I love how you dedicate and carve out time for you. And that is what I'm encouraging all women, whether you're listening to this podcast or inside the Be Free Inner Circle, it is imperative that we take time to fill our own cup because we pour out and give so much to everyone else. And this is why I feel like a lot of women are stuck. And this is why I feel like they are stagnant in their life because they're not taking the steps to fill their cup. And then because of that, they end up feeling lost, disappointed, burned out because they're not getting what they need. And that's one of the things that I love about the community is that everyone is using it as a support system to fill their cup. So I love that. My next question for you is what, what's one reason that you feel other women need to join the Be Free Inner Circle? The biggest thing I feel like is the support that you get. Like you can't, from what I know, you can't go anywhere else to have that kind of support. We like cheer each other on. Like we love each other. (laughs) Like it's really like, this is our family. Like it's, it's amazing. Like I I cannot, I feel like express enough, like how I feel when I post something or if I'm having a bad day or I'm going through something and I'm, and I post it in there and everybody that responds to it or tells me that it's going to be okay or that they went through something like it, like that, I feel like is the number one reason for me, for anybody else to join. Cause you, it's like you can have friends, but this is like a whole community, a whole family of women who are working on bettering themselves. And that support is is priceless for me. Yes. Definitely. Agreed. I agree. And I love seeing the transparent moments and the vulnerability that's being shared inside the community. And you're right. Like, I don't know of any other place that you can go where women are like, I see you. I hear you and hear some words of encouragement, whether they can relate or not, but just taking a moment out of their day to type a sentence or two, or even heart the post. Like I acknowledge what you're saying and I'm here to support you um, any way that you can, any way that I can. So I love that. Um, My final question for you is what would you say to the woman who says, I cannot afford the Be Free Inner Circle? 
listen, <laughs> you make a way for yourself because I have been in a position where I thought before that I'm, I'm like, I can't afford that. Like, you have to have it. You have to change your mindset because you can do it. You done got this far in life doing all of the things that you need to do and paying for the things that you need to pay for. Like you have to change your mindset because you could do it. Definitely. Cause I didn't know if I could do it. I, I think it took me so long to join. It's like, do I want to pay this? Can I pay this? And it's like, at some point, you got to put yourself in the front and be like, okay, well, I need this for myself. So we're going to figure out a way to do it. And that's, that's what I have to say about that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And that's great advice. Very great advice. Any final words that you want to share with any of the listeners um, about your experience or anything that you want to leave the listeners with? I just love this community. Um, <laughs> I love to see everyone growing and the new people and it's just it's been a great great to a little over two years mm -hmm. I've met so many people like I am friends with some of the people like we talk outside of the community mm -hmm. um so yeah I just Love the community, love the women, love the support, love being able to be vulnerable and not being judged. That part. That yeah. part. I'm so glad you said that. Well, Patrice, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to be on the podcast today. And I cannot wait to share this episode and hear the feedback. And I'll make sure that I link to all of your things in the show notes so people who want to learn more about you and your experience and um, you as a vegan chef, I'll make sure that that's in the show notes. And until next time, girl, be free. Thank you for listening to today's episode. And now I want to personally invite you to join the Be Free Inner Circle waitlist. That's right. The doors are currently closed. However, they will be opening soon. And I want you to be the first person to know when you can join the most amazing community for Black women to do their inner work on their personal growth journey. And everyone on the waitlist will have a special treat from yours truly. So head over to BeFreeInnerCircle.com and hop on the list. And I can't wait to see you in the community.